what was you had a couple of years there, I think. What uh, what was that experience like, and what it might be like going back there? It was uh, pretty surreal, honestly, just considering the path I took to, you know, get to my first training camp, and then you walk into that locker room and you have players like Aaron Rodgers and Charles Woodson, BJ Raji, AJ Hawk, you know, um, some guys in the offensive line. We had Jeff Saturday, my rookie year, so it's uh, it was pretty cool as a rookie to be around those people. It was even cooler just to be in that building because when you think of, you know, football, it's hard to think of it without the Green Bay Packers. And then going back, it's going to be, uh, you know, exciting. Um, I played there once in my career after leaving. So it's going to be interesting to kind of stay there for a few days and practice against them and then have a preseason game against them. So looking forward to all that. Greg, what can you guys get out of this? This is a great opportunity to, you know, compete against somebody else other than our own team. Um, I think it's a good tool that uh, teams can use to kind of evaluate their guys and uh, break up the monotony of training camp. You know, you're going against the same defense every day. It's your guys, you know, the drills, uh, they can get a little tedious and now it's all right. We're doing kind of the same drills, but you're going against different guys and, you know, it's still practice, but it gets very competitive. I've been a part of a few joint practices in my career, and it's definitely uh, exciting to go against somebody different and, um, you know, just kind of see what you're made of. So as a team, it's pretty cool to go against uh, the Packers because, you know, perennially they are one of the best teams in the NFL. So it's a good test for our entire team to see, you know, how we stack up with one of the better teams in the league. Greg, from an offensive line standpoint, what were some of the takeaways you could pull out of the game on Saturday night, uh, it's specifically with when the starters were in there with Zach? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, it wasn't the Giants starting defense, but it was our starting offense, and we felt pretty good about our first two drives. Um, you know, everything considering, everyone's curious, like, how's Zach going to be, you know, in a live situation? And he, you know, exceeded, you know, all expectations – um, as far as rookies go, you know, he was not overwhelmed by the moment. He's very in control uh, in the huddle. And um, from an offensive line standpoint, you know, I think you saw how we fit in this scheme and how our offense is going to kind of go through us. So if we're able to run the ball, control the line of scrimmage, you know, Zach can sit back there on third and short and throw completions or hand it off. And it just kind of opens up the playbook for us. Is, is there one thing that Zach has impressed you with so far with, with your weeks with him now? I think his approach um, has impressed me the most. You know, he's very consistent in how he approaches things, how he studies, and he's very humble when it comes to like, you know, some guys are very competitive and they don't want to make mistakes, but he's been very open about how, you know, this is my time to learn what I can get away with and, you know, how I kind of operate in the system. This is what I'm comfortable with this, you know, maybe I need some work on this. So he has a very, you know, experienced and uh, veteran mindset for someone as young as he is. We've talked about how last year you guys really as an offensive line didn't get that opportunity in the preseason. How I know Elijah is not playing right now, but how important is it that you guys are getting through this right now? Yeah, you can't understate it. Um, it's it's incredibly important to get these reps together because, you know, you can practice as much as you want, but, you know, you're in full pads, you're underneath the lights, you're playing a game, and now it matters. Now your quarterback can get hit. There's no, like, okay, they're going to pull up. You know, maybe I shouldn't, you know, try this move or whatever. So now uh, you get comfortable with guys on each side of you. You get more familiar with, you know, the verbiage you're using, the techniques you're going to use, and it's just another opportunity to kind of, either get better or learn. So, um, you know, we had 22 plays as a unit against the Giants, and there was a lot of opportunities to improve there. And that's very encouraging this early on. Now we go to Green Bay. We're going to practice with them for two days. I expect those to be pretty intense. And then we'll have the preseason game Saturday afternoon, and that'll be another great opportunity to check the film and see, hey, we're getting better at this. We still need to work at that so that when you get to week one, you know, you're, you're where you should be. You're not trying to play catch up the whole year. So it's definitely exciting from that uh, standpoint that we have all these opportunities to get reps together.